Hello folks, welcome to Duena Tech Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to use uh, OnClick or how to test OnClick handler on React. And I got this question actually more than one time from my followers, how to test uh, OnClick without passing uh, OnClick handler as a props. That's what I'm going to show you today. Basically it's gonna be very straightforward and simple. As you see here in this, this code, basically we have this very simple component here, which you have here initial state and with a zero value and then we have two handler here one to increase this value and one to decrease the value and also we have here we're rendering this very simple three element first one to display the result and second one a button where you can uh, increase the value of this uh, state and another button here to decrease the value that is very simple one just to show you how you can test these two on click function and in the same component without passing anything as a props and if we can we need to see this on the browser for example to see how this is working now and uh, if i just come here and try to press uh, decrease will not do anything because i have a condition here uh, it will check if the result is uh, zero it will not uh, decrease that value but otherwise if you try to increase it will increase and if you try it again to decrease this value it will decrease until zero and then it will stop there so how we can basically simply try to test this uh, functions to on click functions here so if we come back here to this file here app dot uh, test.js and i just removed the initial test that is coming with the uh, react app when you create a react app using uh, create react app generator and uh, that now is very empty it's only two lines to import the component that we need to test and also to import this uh, uh, fair uh, event and render and screen from react testing library so we can use them for testing uh, let's just start write our test uh, first we need to find out what we need to test and then we can start writing that test uh, as i mentioned we are going to test this on click handler in this scenario it will be when we click on this increase button we need to make sure this function is being called and as, as a result of this function is called should be there is a, uh, an action for that which it will be to increase this result and how that happening and how we can actually test this we need first to have a good selector but for example we need to select the element that we need uh, to test the result for example here this result here it will be increased we need to grab this uh, result and test it and find out and make sure is that is increased how we can do that basically we need to add this selector here for example this is called data dash test id we can use it later to select this element here and then find the result and also we are going to use uh, react uh, actually testing library to select this two button by using just the text for these two buttons uh, let's just go and start writing that okay here let's start writing our first test case first scenario we need to uh, say for example should increase a uh, result uh, when press or when click on increase button and this one here result and then just let's remove this from here first we need to render our component so which we need to use just this render here render and this will be function inside here we just render our component which is this one and the app component that it and need first to select our component for example or select the button that we need to test first let's select the, the increase button the one that we need to test let's call it just increase button and that is going to be variable and we are going to use this screen to select the button for the component the screen dot get by text and then will be the text name or in this scenario is going to be called increase and this is a button that we need to test uh, to to press on as a result of that should update the result first we need also to select the result how to do that a variable called result and that will be screen dot get by test id as i mentioned earlier we initiated a test id and the value called result and i can, can come back again here quickly just to show you this if you see here we have this data test id and the value result this is a select a selector for that result so now we need to uh, to test this result for example just let's uh, 
see what this result will be look like if we try to do expect expect result to match inline snapshot for now just let's add empty backtick and save it and already i'm running the test on the terminal here so the test now is failing uh, because we are expecting empty and this is what we're getting back which will be the html element with the zero result and we can just do that here and try let's just modify this here and here because this after result there is a space if we come back in the app uh, there is a space this is space let's add that space and if you go back and now the test should pass uh, that is failing because just the data formatting let's go back and uh, fix this data formatting this is when using a snapshot basically it's complaining about data formatting lines so we need to just get that fixed all right that is passing now this is the initial initial state is going to be just zero what we need to do basically what we need to test when we press on this increase button then this initial value to be one instead of zero how we can do that we need to first to grab that button and after here let's do a uh, fair let's call this fair event we have at the top here this one and dot click and this it will simulate a click on this button and when that click is fired then we'll expect this result to be updated to one instead of zero and if we change that to one and save it and go to our test here and that now is passing and how this how to run the test basically i didn't show you this you need to do just npm run test and that will run the test for you and you also always in the test it is good practice to check your test is failing now the test is passing but let's try to check if for example this is still is zero let's if we if you're expecting this still is zero should be failing uh, if it didn't fail that should be something wrong that now is failing if i just now change it back to one it will pass so that when we press on the button increase one time but if we press twice uh, then we should expect getting the result to be two instead of one and so this uh, another click which will be second time and we'll expect the result again to be two instead of one let's for now just keep it one if you go to the test then that should fail and just we need to make sure that is failing so now we can change that to two instead and that should passing now so that now increase button is working fine we can do the same same things basically we can do this for a uh, decrease button uh, for decrease we need just to add the description proper description for that should uh, decrease the result when press or when click on a uh, decrease button and then let's just inside here start adding our test let's just grab this here this two line so basically first we need to render the component and second one we need to select the decrease button instead of increase and here instead of increase will be decrease and now we can add our initial expectation which in this scenario is going to be just should be the result should zero and also we need to select our result we have that selected here already let's add that just before here so we we expecting the result initial one to be zero if you go to the test the test is still is passing and we need first to increase actually this value then decrease it so we can test the decrease button and to increase that already we have this example here to increase that and also we have selector here to select the increase button we need to first to select increase button letting select that here and then we need to fire a click event on that button so after fire that increase then we will expect the new value to be increased to one if we go to the test if we keep it just zero should that fail that is failing now and just we need to make sure the test our test is work as we expect and if i go back again that should pass yeah is increased by one now we need to click decrease button or fire an, uh, a click even on this decrease button so let's just grab that button and put it after here 
So basically, you will test like uh, a usual or normal uh, user behavior. Basically, when you press increase and decrease. And now, if we fire a click even on this decrease button, and we need to test again the result. So, in this point here, the result is 1. After pressing decrease button, we expect the value to return back to be 0 instead of 1. If we keep it just now 1, just to make sure our test is failing. Uh, let's just take a look on this. And that now is failing. It's 0 instead of 1. So now just we can update the value to be 0 after we press this decrease button. So that now is passing. So basically, simply that how you can test uh, in-click uh, or on-click function on React app. And that very simple how to do it basically without passing it as a props. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you are new to my channel, try to subscribe and enable the bell to get all new videos and tutorials. And press some up uh, if you like the tutorials. And leave your comment down on the comment section. And see you in the very next tutorial.